about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Dependable, dependable God. Are you praying? It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional say Intentional Intentional God Here's the part I want you to prophesy into your life That everything is working out for my good Dependable God, one more time Dependable Dependable God It doesn't matter what comes my way You are still God Intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. You are good. You are good. Jesus. You are good. You are good. You are good. Jesus, you are so good to me. In all circumstances, in all circumstances, oh, 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 oh. you are so good to me. In all circumstances, in all circumstances. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. When doors begin to open in your life in a way that you cannot explain, that is the goodness of God revealed to you. When God begins to honor your children and use them as a trophy upon your head, that is the goodness of God. When God begins to turn your captivity Ah, let me speak to someone in the name that is above all names I stand by the grace of the living God and I declare to you that that which stands like a mountain in the name of Jesus whose I am and whom I serve may that mountain be lifted from off your life lifted from off your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ listen God is a good God. You have to expect the goodness of God to speak in your life. If you do not expect it, it will never happen. I expect the goodness of God on my job. I expect the goodness of God. The Bible says the expectation of the righteous. Expectation is more than a wish. I expect the favor of God revealed in my life. I expect the wonder working power of God. I expect that when I get to the office, someone under the influence of my father's hand will be compelled to bless me. Did you know, while I sat back there and Pastor Mosfema was presenting the award to 
um you know the the management the traffic management i sat and i was blessed i said i wish many people can discern that this is the revelation this is goodness i saw the man smile nobody frowns at a gift nobody frowns at the you know god is good by the laughter that comes from your mouth genuine sincere laughter Herein is my father glorified, the Bible says, when ye bear much fruit, the goodness of God. Did you know it is even the goodness of God that leads men to repentance? The goodness of God is that powerful. When Peter in John 21, Peter attempted catching fish. He had been frustrated. Jesus had died. They were not sure he had come back to life. And he, he said, I go out fishing. Let me go back to what I was doing. This man scammed me for three and a half years of my life. I left my profession to follow him in hope that I will have a more meaningful life. Now he's killed. I'm in trouble. I go out fishing. And the remaining disciples say, we go with you. And they toiled and toiled and could not catch any fish. Here comes Jesus. The revelation of the father's goodness when he came he said little children have you any catch he said no he said cast your net to the right side as soon as they casted their net the bible says the net was about to break because of the fish it was the goodness of god peter recognized there is no one else who can do this except jesus he said i'm a sinner go away from me the goodness of god can bring judgment even to unbelievers because you see people in the dark world they know what to do they know the labor that they go through to get the slightest result they know the graves they have to lie down upon they know the covenants some of them give their children to get peace some of them give their joy some of them give parts of their body so when they see you rejoicing they wonder for this level of result what is it that you would have done and you tell them it's the goodness of god the goodness of god so good to me you are so good we'll never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you get tired of your current level and we will never settle for less when we know there's more that's found in you it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you say after me in the name of jesus please shout it say in the name of jesus i expect to see and experience the goodness of god every day of my life turn it into a prayer i expect someone pray you will marvel and wonder at what god does in your life as a result of this please pray please pray oh yes i expect you are a man of god i expect good news news of salvation transformation ever increasing glory the glory that excels in career i'd like you to declare this week cannot be like last week i expect good things good news hallelujah look up please the bible talks about a man who was crippled at gate beautiful and that every time the apostles alongside others would go to pray and the man would just sit there watching and then one time he made up his mind that he was tired of that situation and while he saw uh, the apostles on their way at the hour of prayer the bible says that he was begging for arms are we together now and peter and john looked at him and he said look at us and the bible says he looked expecting to receive expecting 
I expect favor. I expect great people to talk about me. I expect my name to be mentioned to the ears of my destiny helpers. It's an expectation. I expect that nothing good about my life will be hidden. I expect visibility for my products. You are a businessman. Don't sit down there and be quiet and hope that things will happen. I expect visibility. I'm in ministry. I expect visibility from the realm of the spirit and in the physical that no one will ignore my products and my services. I expect it because there is an anointing upon me. Expectation is powerful. I expect to be lifted. I expect to be blessed. I expect to be honored. I expect to be a sign and a wonder. I expect my hands to be full. I expect favor to work for me. Kali paruskiata. I live in this realm of expectation. Ever expectant. God, today is Sunday. Abba, what wonder do you have for me today? I am ready to receive. I am a receiver only because you are a giver. If you are not a giver, I have no business receiving. For a man can receive nothing except it is given to him from above. Listen, look at me. Every time, most times, let me use politicians as an example. When they go to their constituencies, the moment people see them, they expect that that politician would not leave that place without some act of charity or benevolence. Is that true? And that expectation compels that politician, prepared or not, to at least drop something. Not necessarily because he likes the people, but for his namesake. Have you seen people who play music during weddings? I mean, this is Lagos, so you know that, right? They come around you, you are minding your business about to enter your car and go. And they play music and dance around and call your name, call your son name, say something about you. And your driver says, sir, don't leave these people like this. Expectation. So when I sing about his praises and his goodness, I'm not just worshipping him. It's also a declaration of expectation. God, you can't keep quiet on me after rolling on the ground like this. No, I have called you a good God and I didn't call it in silence. I said it before the world. I've put pressure on your integrity to deliver. You are so good to me. Now they are hearing. You are so good to me. So they say, where is it? As I keep singing that song, I'm putting pressure on his integrity. Where is the goodness of God in your life? And God says, no, no, no. You can't keep calling that attribute of me and I live your life in shame. You are so good to me. Sing it as a prophecy. You are so good to me. Jesus, you are so good to me. In all circumstances. In all circumstances. Oh, Jesus, you are so good to me. Unchangeable, unchangeable God. It doesn't matter what comes my way, you are still God. Intentional, say intentional, intentional God. Everything is working out for my good. You are good. You are Shake up our doors, say brand new love. Jesus, you are good. You are good. You are good. You are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are so good to me. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Please sit down very quickly. Let's deal with the second principle and we'll pray. No, your life will change in the name of Jesus Christ. You are in a season where you are about to see a display of God's goodness in a way that will marvel you. I want you to believe it. This is a prophetic church. Believe it. Believe it. That for someone you will walk out of this service and you're on your way going home. Suddenly a call comes and you say, well, I mean, I have not expected this. And you pick that call and it's like opening a door to a realm where you will never return to your yesterday again. Remember the goodness of God. Do not forget this. The goodness of God is powerful. It can turn your morning to dancing. In one day, God can give you laughter that does not end. That you can step into prepared blessings. Listen, there are times that God will send rain on your farm. And then after four months, you will yield a harvest. Huh? But there are times God can send bread from heaven directly, processed already. It's called prepared blessings. He is still the doer of all. Whether he sends rain to your farm or gives you manna directly, it is still God. And he can send both the rain and manna. Because there are times the urgency in your life does not allow the, the time before the plants will grow. You need manna directly from heaven. Let this revelation sink in your spirit. It says, surely goodness. Is it in your Bible? They are not attributes. They are spirits. Surely. Goodness. Goodness and mercy surely goodness following me on my way to the marketplace goodness mercy in school goodness mercy let me give us one more point and then we'll pray is God blessing us Isaiah chapter 1 please from verse 19 the second key that controls the manifestation of the goodness and the hand of God upon our lives. Remember, the first is the revelation of the fatherhood of God. Then I spoke a bit about expectation now. Isaiah chapter 1, please, from verse 19. Please give it to us. Isaiah 1, from verse 19 and 20. Read with me, please, if you're a Christian, it's projected. Ready? Read. If ye be willing, uh huh, and obedient, what will happen? If you are unwilling and disobedient, what happens to you? The goodness of the land will never come to you. The first revelation from this scripture is that there is goodness not only in God, there is goodness in every land. That you are not experiencing it does not mean it is not there. Please listen. Every land, no matter how barren, there is an investment of God's goodness on it. Lagos is a good land. Every territory where you reside is a good land. But there is a condition for that earth to yield its increase to you. Is that true? If you are willing and you are obedient. Obedience is a very powerful spiritual principle in fact according to scripture faith is not complete until there is obedience faith is not just believing God faith is not just saying what you want faith is not even just saying what God has said faith is obtaining the grace to walk in keeping with the conditions that guarantee the result that God said should come it's not enough to expect increase. It's not enough to expect good things. Every promise in scripture is conditional. The only thing in scripture that is not conditional is the love of God. But every other reality 
every possibility in the kingdom is highly conditional deuteronomy chapter 28 please give us from verse 1 and 2 i'd like us to read it together deuteronomy chapter 28 when it's projected and we can see it let's read together deuteronomy 28 1 and 2 ready please let's read and it shall come to pass uh -huh, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do take notes to observe and to do all which i command you this day uh -huh, that the lord thy god will set thee on high above verse 2 and all these blessings how many blessings how many blessings and all these blessings shall what it comes on you because it comes from above and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Say obedience. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. When Moses died and the mandate was now transferred to Joshua, he was afraid because the people were a stiff-necked people. They were stubborn people. How would he lead such people? And a revelation was given to him. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 it says this is the formula joshua for your success this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth please pay attention god is about to bless someone it says but thou shalt meditate therein day and night don't stop there we stop there usually it says that thou mightest observe to do someone say observe to do observe to do all that is written therein for in doing it you will make your way prosperous and you will have a kind of success that the bible calls good success there is success but there is good success when the blessing of the lord make it rich and prosperous and adds no sorrow it is called good success the kind of success where you are up today and down tomorrow is not good success obedience obedience to what obedience to the voice of god obedience to the instructions that connect to the blessings you desire i told you that every dimension of god that we seek in this kingdom is conditional and there are principles and instructions that are connected please listen please listen you have to get this principles and instructions say after me please principles and instructions if it be thou bid me come and he said come an instruction and he got up and walked on water when they met him and said sir the feast the wedding in the can of Galilee in John chapter 2 the wine is finished and there's this there's, there's about to be a major embarrassment in this feast and he said fill six pots with water and when he filled six pots with water he said now you go and serve the lord that's a risk if those guys got there and the rulers took and <laughs> if they fetched that water and it was water in their mouth they would have killed those people but at the instance of his word they went water you turn into wine open eyes of the blind there's no one like you in our life one more time water he's turning it to wine just knowing that god can lift you in your place of work is not enough just knowing that an anointing can come upon your life and set you apart is not enough there are instructions and there are principles having the readiness to judge all disobedience he says when your obedience is complete apostle i desire higher levels of the anointing there are principles that lead to it you must obtain the grace to be obedient apostle i want to increase financially in this season just claiming wealth will make you look foolish before the world respectfully speaking 
It's not enough to just say, my God wants to bless me. You must find out the principles that are connected to that dimension of God's grace. There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. The Bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat. Are we together now? He says the gift of a man shall make room for him and bring him before great men. These are the principles that connect to greatness. Apostle, I want the nations to hear my voice. There are many spiritual principles that are responsible for that. One of it is an encounter with the prophetic. Go and read your Bible. Nobody rose just because they had intellect. There were times in their lives where the prophetic had to be introduced into their life. By this time, tomorrow, he said. There are principles. The challenge is most times believers know the outcomes that they desire. But they do not know the principles that connect to those outcomes. Or they have not obtained the grace to be diligent and obedient in keeping to and with those instructions and with those principles. I am passionate about knowing the instructions and the principles that connect me to the grace and the glory of God. You may have heard me say it, that every time the glory of God is revealed, the glory of God revealed is an attestation to the fact that his patterns have been kept. If you keep God's patterns, you will see his glory. We are here today celebrating the mighty hand of God upon your man of God and upon a prophet that God has given to the nations not only because he is called of God but he can articulate steps of faith in obedience to the voice of God. I thank God for the privilege that I had to, to participate in the process of this place in our discussion and, and I had the honor of watching prophecy unveil. Today we are celebrating what we, the glory of God but it did not just come because he's a man of God. It came at the instance of obedience. Shout obedience. Disobedience is very costly. If you know the cost of disobedience you will run away from it. Obedience. The Lord can give you an instruction for instance and say it's time to go to the next level of your life. Spend three days in fasting and prayer. That's an instruction. You may argue it and say, God, um, I've not eaten well. I'm just about to eat well before the fast. And you know, you see, God speaks once. It's your responsibility to hear twice. Isaac, I know there is famine and other people are running, but stay in this land. This is your place of blessing. You can argue it. When God speaks, obey him more. When God speaks, honor him. Every prophetic word does not make sense till it makes sense. Every prophetic word looks like a mistake. Every prophetic word looks like an error until you see the intelligence of God play out through the pride of men. By this time tomorrow, and a foolish man would come and say, even if the windows of heaven is opened, and he said, okay, so that you will not die thinking God was a liar. You will see it, but you will not eat from it. I rebuke unbelief from your life. I rebuke the spirit of disobedience from your life. Hallelujah. Ask everyone who God has helped in ministry, in business. They will tell you a, came, a point came in their lives where there were divine instructions. I'm not just talking of instructions written in scripture. There are times God will give you unique instructions. When those seasons come, be careful because you will, you will take advantage of something that will lift you to a new season or you will recycle your current season again. Years ago, the Lord gave me an instruction. I've shared it a number of times. To take a seed and take it to God's servant Bishop David Oedeko and I got up it was it was I'm, I'm not talking about money it's just an example it came that there are there are seeds when you give you know this is Ishmael but there are seeds when you give you know this one 
is Isaac. You will die with your seed there. These are not the seeds that you smile. There are seeds that are called precious. The Bible says you weep while you are giving them. And then I remember I came out and I was about to enter the vehicle to go and the Holy Spirit told me, he said, come out. He said, put your hand on that ground. I placed my hand on that ground. He said, from today you have entered the overflow anointing lifting does not just happen i have to be honest with you because you see believers are wonderful people and even though prophecy is here to help us there is the responsibility of obedience adherence to divine instructions go around jericho seven times once every day and then at the seventh time the priests in front with a shout and that blast of the healer the wall will come down that was the instruction you can invent your own strategy but it may not work imagine them going around quietly what are you doing obeying instructions Kali Parusiata. and for every time they obeyed the spirit of grace is released something is happening in the realm of the spirit while you are obeying just because you don't hear any sound does not mean God is not moving keep obeying god can give you an instruction and say for the remaining part of this year every day you must pray for the man of god and his wife it's an instruction oh lord but i'm already a prayer warrior that's not it an instruction now came from heaven god can give you an instruction and say every month from that which you have ensure that you sow into the man of god and his wife you say lord i've been doing it he says no you did that one as a gift from your heart this one is an instruction connected to the next level of your life believe what i'm telling you you are not being taught cunningly devised fables instructions and then principles principles obedience is powerful it is the game changer between people who become talkatives and those who become proof producers. Principles. I know that God is able to lift. I know that God is able to change. I know that God is able to turn a man's life around. But just believing that he would do it will not solve the problem lord what is the principle he says good master what must i do to be saved that's a rich man because he knows there is there's responsibility connected to everything what must i do to be saved what is my own part is god speaking to us every dimension of the goodness of god you desire has conditions attached you must obtain knowledge of what those conditions are and then grace to obey thoroughly grace to obey thoroughly grace to obey thoroughly it is amazing the kinds of miracles that can happen in your life at the instance of your obedience there are many of you you shouldn't have been at this level if you had obeyed God he gave you an instruction in 2014 you argued it and said I will, I will obey you see the thing with life is life is a patient teacher it will keep recycling your pain till you learn 2014 this is the way out no 2015 again this is the way out no 2016 this is the way out no 2017 this is the way out Today God is coming to you again. How long will you wait when it is my desire to show you my goodness? There are people, one instruction they would have obeyed, they would have been in their house now. Please don't feel bad. I'm challenging you. Neglect to divine instructions can cost you more than you know. For some, it can even be a matter of life and death. Don't go this road. obedience is very powerful I learned this as a principle if you learn to obey God if you learn to obey the word your life will become and remain a living wonder believe me when I tell you this 
I desire to walk in superior dimensions of grace and the anointing. I desired it sincerely. And I knew that it was in prophecy for me to walk in these dimensions. But I knew that just hoping and wishing, I would only waste my time and waste the time of a generation. And I began to search. What are the principles that govern the manifestation of the power of God in a man's life? Genuine, authentic, spiritual power. And I began to find them. I began to find them. And I said, Lord, grant me the grace. It may not be easy, but I, I obtained the grace. And goodness, I am grateful for that obedience. Because you see, many people wait to eat from your obedience. Obedience is powerful. The benefits go beyond you. Are we together? I came here this morning lending my voice with your pastor to let you know that if God has done this for this church, then it's time for your own life to reflect it. You cannot be in a ministry that has been so greatly helped by God and then remain the same. The testimony from your life is what gives credence to the anointing that is upon this house. No. It's nobody like you, Lord. It's nobody like you, Lord. You must pray and desire the grace for complete obedience. Obedience to divine instructions and obedience to scriptural principles. It's not only principles you need. There are things in your life only instructions will bring. Please hear what I'm telling you. And for some of you, God will be giving you instructions. For some of you, the prophet of God will come and instructions will come. Be diligent to walk with instructions. When people go to meet a herbalist, I want to win an election or I want to be promoted to the highest position. Usually he does not share principles with them. You say, all right, what you want is a possibility. He will first search the realm of the spirit. You say, give me two minutes. And you will search the realm of the spirit and say, I see that there is space for you. You don't say, thank you, sir. And you walk away. You are waiting for instructions. We have enough intelligence to know that you do not go to the devil and just say, I'm aware now that there is vacancy. What is the instruction? And he will tell you, all right, for this kind of miracle you want, I'm not a foolish herbalist. I've been doing this work for a long time. So if you are not ready, there are some instructions that are so hard, they will first ask you, are you willing? You watch it in Nigerian film. You don't have to go to a herbalist. Praise the Lord. Do you have the stamina to obey this, this kind of instruction? And you say, I'm that desperate. You say, all right. Number one, your son is coming here. Ah, you said you are ready. Okay. Number two, you are going to bring a cow. Number three, you buy a bag of rice. Number four, you bring a million naira. Can you do all of this? Let me think about it. He said, okay, I'll give you two weeks. It's your business. You are the one who wants the lifting. And the man goes to think about it. He compares the pain of the instruction versus what he wants and says it's worth it. He will drag his son, drag the cow, drag the money. And then the man will laugh and say, finally, and conjure some things. The man returns back and not even you except you are a believer you will not be able to stop that man because reality is his obedience was part of the ingredients that went into that charm it's not just what they mixed his his obedience also came as an ingredient and all of a sudden you find out that a director in the office is acting as though he's not in his right mind promoting a man who is not qualified anyhow and the man is just laughing at people anyhow and they say no dear you don't know the price and then some ignorant person will come and say i assure you we are going to have a board meeting and bring you down then he remembers his pain and says you are joking you don't know what happened in the secret you don't know the gravity of obedience that sponsors this result his confidence is based on what he knew that he did 
so there are times that God will tell you you want a supernatural ministry is for the taking and it is a reality in Christ but there is a price to pay are you willing here is the anointing to heal here is the anointing to prophesy you see we live in a generation where we want everything free it's not true let me tell you sincerely there is a spiritual price for dimensions in the spirit as any businessman they would tell you customers are free but bringing them to you is not free for some of you is the price of prayer to return back to the secret place while others are sleeping he will wake you no not for the kind of anointing you want the kind of anointing you want praying one hour praying 30 minutes praying once a week no sir these demons will kill you as if you don't exist where are you going i know what i'm pressing towards for some of you while others are sleeping god will wake you and say open that scripture begin to study because of the kind of ministry i'm giving you for some of you god will cause you, you will buy books that are taller than you and you will sit down and god will say read every one of them because the kind of businessman i want to make out of you there is something there is there is a species of of kingdom wealth i want to bring out of you obedience there is a price behind exploits in the kingdom there is a real price a price of diligence a price of death a price of surrender a price of giving your all abraham you want to become father of nations take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest and offer him upon a mountain he was willing to take that risk the question i have for you is that what price are you willing to pay in partnership with the holy ghost apostle i want a crowd in my ministry you may be saying i want god to bring people from everywhere my brother and my sister it takes more than greek and hebrew it takes more than eloquence and oratory you may have all of that and be surprised the same way you have all the provisions in your store and yet customers will not come because the customers are not just bodies they are spirits am i boring you i'm opening your eyes to a real spiritual principle that when you handle you see that's why many times when you talk about great people they don't even respond to you it's god that will punish you the altar of their sacrifice is also a disciplinarian it can bring order to your life he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying you do not know how this man became my anointed do my prophets know how hallelujah i desired a grace in my life that when i speak over people's lives it will become as i have said i said is, is there such a grace i found it in the life of several people from history from scripture the bible says for samuel pastor said that none of his word what kind of a man is that do you know how much of a blessing you will be if everything you say upon people comes to pass but I found out there was a price a real price and I said whatever that price is I obtain grace from God let's go for when you find that grace now you can tell people be blessed they will say amen as if they are joking and come out with their hands on their head and say what was upon my life when I left grace There is a price look at the price that politicians pay during election they travel to almost every local government almost every state healthy or not tired or not are we together they sweat around morning afternoon evening that is the price it takes to be a governor or a president or whatever it is no matter how capable you are you will not overcome that price you have to pay it jesus grant that my sons will sit at your left and your right jesus would have said wonderful what a mother and what a good request he said can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism church is quiet 
I hope your silence means you are meditating on what I'm saying not that you are saying why did he say this I wish I were lying but this is no lie it is the truth there is a real price there is a price for favor <laughs> there is a price for favor it is not every dimension of favor that is unmerited mm -mm. if you have that theology you are going to be disappointed there are dimensions of favor that are very merited in fact the only dimension of favor that is unmerited is favor that reveals itself as the saving grace and even that dimension you must verbalize your reception today there are people going to hell even though jesus christ is still lord because if they do not open their mouth and show their interest and believe him as a savior and as lord they will still go to hell favor is beyond saying i am favored no there are conditions proverbs 13 and verse 15 is one of the principal conditions that govern favor proverbs 13 and 15 it says good understanding brings favor it says but the way of the transgressor is hard i desire to see god lift us in supernatural dimensions we're going to be praying in a few minutes this is our final session together and i want to pray over our lives i i'm trusting god I really pray from the depth of my heart that someone will really experience what the grace of God can do in the life of someone who is it may not be so for everybody but there are few people pastors are who have really encountered grace to know what grace can do ah, if if the grace of God meets you honestly speaking your life will become a marvel and a wonder first to yourself Some of you are trusting God for all kinds of graces. The grace to heal, the grace for speed, the grace for liftings. There are graces that, that govern these dimensions of results. You must pray for it. There is a grace that can give you your own, your own anything. Rehoboth, God has given me my own space. If that grace is not upon you you can save even if it's a billion naira to build a house you will be surprised you will never be able to build one house because it takes more than a block and cement it takes grace Adonai Lamb of God you are worthy worthy of my praise King of kings, Lord of lords. Hallelujah. We are praying, but the Lord just showed me two people. There are two people here. There is a call of God upon your life, but there are certain graces you have been seeking. You have been seeking these graces. I know that there's, there's um, what they call it? social distance so even if you bring people under the anointing just let's try to respect it but i don't want to waste the remaining time there are two people here as i was just singing that song the lord just opened my eyes and i saw that there were people who must drink of this grace listen it's a grace that will drive you to prayer it's a grace that will drive you to study bring them out Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. He's bringing them out by himself. This is a dimension of signs and wonders. It happens by the Spirit of God. Casting crown, lifting hands, bowing arms, what I've come to do. Bring them out. Lifting hands, bowing hearts, it's all we come to do. 
hallelujah please bring them out there is a reason you invited me here this is a ministry of signs and wonders is so that the lord himself will shift you to very strange dimensions there are four ladies the spirit of prophecy this is what i am seeing for one of you it was on your mother please bring them out well, help them whether you are an usher or not please help them you don't have to be an usher bring them out that grace that was on your mother is coming on you bring them out please whether you are an usher or not help them looked around and suddenly realized that you've been so good to me ah. your mercy is everlasting undenying listen I join my faith with the prophet of God and I declare here at this conference I shift you to new levels all of you in front here step into new levels and for everyone following and watching here in the main auditorium and at the overflows be shifted to new dimensions in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the power of God is on a lady now I'm seeing bring her she's wearing green green complete green she's at this side bring that lady the Lord is revealing to me a lady wearing complete green who is that with a nose mask is there someone like that who is Olamide Olamide I'm hearing a name Olamide is there someone like that Olamide I'm hearing that name Olamide please be patient we have to pray Olamide this is the name that God is giving to me my dear look at me where are you coming from huh? from lady love from where I want to pray for you because your life is about to change are you a member of this church my goodness you will never forget this encounter I stretch my hands may grace come upon your life and shift you to a strange dimension in the realm of the spirit receive that grace and step into that dimension of possibility in the name of Jesus Christ who is Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan there's someone I don't know if it's your name or your son name Jonathan please when you have that person I want to talk to that person right now and then I'm hearing a name Bolu who is Bolu I'm hearing a name Bolu is there someone like that that should be female am I right please who is that I want to speak to you what's your name huh? your, son is Jonathan. your son name is Jonathan where are you from Undo states. Undo states. can I pray for you ma please don't come out at random eh? make sure we know why so that we don't mess up this place why are they here your mother who is Bolu oh Bolu is both male and female okay no this is it's none of these people but I'm, I'm I will still pray for you but the person I'm seeing someone in the overflow the power of God is coming on that person the overflow please carry the person and bring the person here there is a prophetic word the overflow the, that's the one it, uh, I think that overflow a strong anointing is coming on that person please quickly bring the person we'll work with time madam I want to speak to you in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the rod of the wicked will not rest upon the lot of the righteous i'm not a prophet of doom but i'm speaking to you that in the name of jesus every reproach of darkness
help the person who will run out now by the spirit of god an anointing will come on him he will literally be running please hold him whether you are an usher or not please this is happening by the spirit there is a prophecy for that person from the congregation the power of god will come on that person right now please bring the person help the person please hallelujah please help help yes i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus christ i declare an end comes to your captivity once and for all this is a solution arena and i stand and agree with the grace upon his choice servant that this comes to an end right now in the name of jesus what's your name come where are you coming from the overflow the overflow I want to pray for you. What do you do, my dear? I just finished secondary school. I just finished secondary school. Secondary school? Yes. Let me pray for you. The grace that is on Esther is on you. You're going to become a lady connected to royalty. And I pray. Madam, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Let that oppression go out of her life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please open your mouth in one minute. Everything that must live your life. Please open your mouth. We're a church of prayer. Lift your voice and begin to make decrees. In the name of Jesus. Under this unction and under this grace. In the name of Jesus. Every planting that is not by God. Is someone praying? Every planting that is not by God. Let it be uprooted right now. Overflow. Pray. Those following online. Pray. hallelujah i need to pray for you because i'm praying for another set of people now for all of you who are here i decree and declare look at me madam just lift your hands i rebuke death from your family now I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit the spirit of death be lifted from this family in the name of Jesus there is please you, you can go back you can go back to your, your seat huh? as many of you hold on please there's someone who is going to shout under the anointing I want you to bring that it's a loud shout to the hearing of everybody and there is a reason i want to pray on that person the lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of death over families over families as many of them who can go just those who cannot go just just leave them just leave them Madam, come. It's time for your life to change. What's your name, madam? Who is Ty? I don't give her the mic. Who is Tayo? I'm seeing Tayo written on your head. What's your name? I'm not Tayo. Uh, I, 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 do I know you? Tayo. That's what I'm seeing. On, that's your name. Where are you? You're a member of this church? Very well. Wow. There is a door that I'm seeing opening up for you and your family. It's a very strange season of honor. Hear what I'm telling you, madam. I stand by the God of heaven to tell you by this time next year, your entire family, everything that has to do with you, you would have been lifted to a dimension of grace. I stretch my hands, receive that grace. Take that fire right now. In the name of Jesus, open doors. Open doors beyond your imagination. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's someone's brother who wants to contest for chairmanship. Who is that person? I'm seeing like a like I don't know if there's any maybe local government election or something like that. And there's someone related to a gentleman. Please, if you have that person very quickly, we have to we have to pray and wrap up. my dear lift your hands where you are this fair lady you lift your hands i'm seeing oil coming on you take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same 
never be the same in the name of Jesus I roll away reproach from your life by the you don't have to bring her out by the spirit of grace I declare it comes to an end now it comes to an end now you're the one contesting sir your brother where is he Abuja. in the name of Jesus Christ we agree ah Can I talk to you? Tell your brother to be careful with kidnappers. I'm not a prophet of doom. Please make sure, why is he here? Your brother too. But tell your brother to be careful with kidnappers. I'm seeing someone among his friends making an arrangement so that they will kidnap him and they are demanding for a huge ransom. Tell him to pray. God reveals like this to help us. I, I hope you understand. It's not to scare us sir can i prophesy to you i know that you came here to collect an award but it's more than an award i'm seeing three four months your season is changing even in your place of work this is what i'm seeing by the spirit of god i'm seeing you climb a ladder in the realm of the spirit and every time i see people climb a ladder in the realm of the spirit it signifies that a new season is opening up for you in the name of Jesus here at Holy Ghost Christian Center, we stand in faith and we agree. The Lord brought you not only to collect an award, but in the name of Jesus for this season to change. It says, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. Sir, I decree and declare over you, by the spirit of grace, I stretch my hands to you. And I declare according to the word of the Lord, may the lord surprise you he will surprise you in an extraordinary way in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ god bless you sir i pray for you the lord is showing you mercy the lord is showing you help in the name of jesus now i want to pray am i wasting your time i'm going to pray for you there are people here under the yokes of darkness listen the Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy. That everything sitting on your destiny that should not be there, God is about to clear it away. Are you ready now? I'm about to pray and the power of God is coming on people. God is delivering people right now. Please, I want you to bring them out. At the count of three, you will call that name Jesus. I'm seeing altars on fire. I want you to bring them here and then begin to pray. Father, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice, help them please, who is under any yoke of oppression, under any cause, under any manifestation of darkness, at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, may fire come from heaven and bring you deliverance. Help them, whether you are an usher or not, please. Once someone is close to you, it's your responsibility. Are you ready to shout Jesus? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command those altars, be gone now. Be gone now. Be gone now. Bring them out. Be gone now. Every planting, every yoke of darkness fashioned against you, fashioned against your family. Hear the word of the Lord. I come by the word of prophecy. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Be delivered now. We are still praying. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Please look at me. I'm seeing a big padlock in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is telling me destinies have been locked. But they are about to be opened. I'm seeing the number 12. The fire of God is coming on them. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus. Every destiny that has been locked, every destiny that has refused to find visibility, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, that destiny be open now. Be open now. Bring them out. Be open now. Open your mouth, begin to pray. Open your mouth, begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, it's a new season for me. 
Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? I'm still praying. Hallelujah. Listen. Olatunji, Olatunji. I believe there should be a name like that. Whose name is that? Olatunji. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that with that name? Olatunji. This is what I'm seeing. And that name belongs to you. There is a miracle. That God wants to release for that person right now. Olatunji, I don't know if you are following online or you are inside or in the overflow. But the Lord is asking me to prophesy to Olatunji that a season is about to change for you. A supernatural season is about to change for you. A supernatural season is about to change. Tap this gentleman for me please. We have to hurry up. Just tap him. My friend, look at me. Stand up. Where are you coming from? Huh? Lagos. What's your name? Chigozi. This is, help him. I'm seeing a strong altar. You see someone who comes like this? This is a fine young man. But what I'm seeing, because I'm seeing skulls, and I'm seeing them say, this gentleman will never rise. And even his family will never rise. But we stand here at the Solution Arena. I stretch my hands. The spirit that is back of the captivity, of your life and your family i command it out now in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to speak that if there is any altar that is saying you will not rise here at the solution arena in the name that is above all names receive your freedom now hallelujah you were about to leave your house this morning and the Lord asked you to carry photos. Is it of your family or your loved ones? Who is that person? Come with it. I want to pray for you. So we'll round up. I'm seeing... Who is that? Is there someone like that? Let's verify first. Okay, come. For there is a God that reveals secrets. Who is this? Okay. My first child, Olamide. You mentioned Olamide the other time, sir. This is my my picture. This is my son. Can I pray for you, madam? Mama, please come this way. The Lord is about to bring laughter to your family. I'm seeing a woman here. Three years, you are yet to conceive. Now I know there are people who are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, but I'm seeing a particular person three years right now. Because of the peculiarity of your situation, God wants to visit you. Who is that person? Please come. It's your time to receive right now, according to the time of life. My God shall supply all my needs According to His riches and glory He will keep His angels charge of me Hallelujah. Please stand up, madam. Oh dear. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus. The destroyer will not come near your family. Madam, is this your son? What is his name? This is uh, South Africa, sir. Just, I'm asking you, yes, what's sir. his name? Oluwamayawa. I separate him from any company that wants to destroy his life. Hear what, you understand what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus, there is no trouble that this gentleman will have with government on account of wrong company. In the name of Jesus, may my God preserve him and preserve your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Mama, I want to pray for you. I know we may not have the time to pray, but... God has spoken. I want to just pray whatever it is that is connected to these photos. I want you to believe by faith that the hand of God is coming on your life. Madam, 
Why are you here? Huh? Where is the pain you feel at the lower part of your stomach? Huh? Give her the mic. Is that true? Yes. How long has it been? It has been like three years. Like three years. It's one of the reasons why there is a problem. But God is going to do a miracle for you. Because as I stood here, the Lord is telling me that you've been going through. There is, is a medical condition that is leading to that pain. It's not just an ordinary pain, but I have to pray for you. But this is not the person I'm seeing. No, even though I'm going to pray for you. The person I'm seeing is not this. Mama, in the name of Jesus, for the photos that you are holding, I pray and agree with you. Here at the Solution Arena, divine visitation. Supernatural visitation. Help this woman. Ah, who am I seeing on a sick bed? I'm seeing someone's loved one. I don't know if it's their mother or something. And I have to pray because this looks like cancer. This situation, you are a gentleman. You are wearing like brown. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. You are a tall, slender gentleman who is that where is your mother she's in Oko state huh? Oko state you say it now my mom is in Oko state what's wrong with her it's my uncle is fighting cancer well i will pray with you but this person i'm seeing the person lying down huh huh with cancer yes Where? my mother in Benue state i have to pray for you ah. this, morning. this thing is this because in the vision i'm seeing i'm already seeing her inside a coffin we have to pray look at me i bring you the life and the power of this kingdom and in the name of jesus the spirit that raised christ from the dead i declare that that grace rests upon you and your mother right now anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death whether by sickness please believe it oh the times that we live in you need this prophetic cover whether by sickness whether by acts of terrorism whether by acts of the wickedness of men i declare it will not come near your dwelling it will not come near your dwelling in the name of jesus my friend Look at me. I pray for your uncle. In the name of Jesus, may God take him off from the bed of affliction and preserve him. Preserve his soul. In the name of Jesus. Mama, in Jesus' name, back pain is leaving you now. I'm seeing an anointing coming on your head. Back pain, huh? In the name of Jesus. How long has it been? Like pain around your... Like yeah. two, two weeks. I will pray for you in the name of Jesus it goes right now never to return if you are sick in your body lay your hands there right now I have just maybe about six minutes or so just lay your hands there I'm seeing a book being opened in front of you this lady wearing red that's a book of remembrance that lady listen to me Give God your entire attention and take God seriously and watch what he will do in your life. This is the prophetic word for you. But in this season, the book of remembrance. Please be careful so you don't drag them to injure themselves. What is happening to you is also happening to that lady. I pray here, whoever has been forgotten, let me prophesy on you. In the name of Jesus, whatever has made men forget you, by the power that raised Christ from the dead people you are blessed who have forgotten you people you were there for who have forgotten you between now and the end of March hear me I speak to you by the spirit of grace may the book of remembrance be open be open be open be open be open over your life and over your destiny In the name of Jesus Christ the Lord show you mercy in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord show you mercy let me pray for the sick lay your hands now father 
I stand upon this anointed ground. You don't have to bring them out now. In the name of Jesus, everyone who is sick, believe in miracles. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. You break every chain, break every chain. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare everyone here who is sick in your body. I rebuke the spirit that is back of every infirmity. Shout a believing amen. And right now I decree and declare from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now. Blood conditions be healed now. Genotype issues be healed now. Hepatitis be healed now. Fibroids and all kinds of growths around the body be healed now. Eye conditions be healed now. Ear conditions be healed now. Heart palpitations be healed now every other medical condition in the name of jesus we bring it under judgment and we declare healing by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ finally let me pray and speak over your life i believe in prophecy i truly believe in prophecy father i stand in faith ah. I'm seeing someone give this church a bus. A, this is what I'm seeing. As I just saw a vision and I saw a bus entering as a seed. This is what I'm seeing. I'm saying it in the open. The word of the Lord, if it is from the Lord, does not lie. I use what I just saw as a point of contact. That everything that is yet to come into your life, I stand by the spirit of grace and I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it appear in your life now everyone here trusting God for employment I stand by the grace of God and I declare by this time next year you return with joy you return employed I pray for every business here hear the word of the Lord is a season of increase for you i place prophecy upon the works of your hands in the name of jesus experience increase can i pray for your spiritual life listen i have about two minutes left we will not just bless you and pray for things your life and your relationship with god your fire and your fervency no matter what else is right in your life if your spiritual life is in trouble you are in trouble therefore i pray whatever has destroyed your fire altar the grace to fast the grace to pray may that grace come upon you now the grace to study the grace to give yourself into the things of god in the name of jesus receive that grace i declare that you will walk in signs and wonders in the name of jesus help them please I pray for every worker under this commission. You are a worker under this commission. My Bible says a worker is worthy of his wages. Therefore, I decree and declare for every worker under this prophetic grace, step into new seasons, open doors, greater dimensions of lifting. In the name of Jesus. And I pray finally, listen to me for all those who have given all those who have sacrificed resources i was just speaking with the pastor briefly in the office and i said i can only imagine how much you spent 
the millions and millions of naira that must have gone in to make this thing happen it is not just enough to give there should be a blessing that comes to you for giving therefore i pray for everyone here connected to this assembly sons and daughters of the prophet connected whether in this ministry or not and all those who have participated and are participating i release a blessing upon you open heavens upon your life open heavens upon your family open heavens upon your spiritual life in the name of jesus i declare that you will have good measure pressed down shaken together and even running over may the lord show you mercy in the name of jesus holy ghost christian center the lord bless you i love you thank you so much pastor Most fair one. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline